Richmond, Virginia is only the second city in the last 30 years to have two teams from the same city in the Sweet 16. Los Angeles did it with USC and UCLA, and now much smaller Richmond has a pair still dancing. The Richmond Spiders and, of course, Virginia Commonwealth. Both are playing the role of Cinderella. If by chance Richmond and VCU manage to keep their upset trains rolling with wins tomorrow night, they'd become the first teams from the same city to meet for a trip to the Final Four. And for more on Richmond's remarkable run, let's bring in the mayor of Basketball City, Dwight C. Jones. Mayor, congratulations on uh, both teams' success. Thanks for coming on with us. What is it like in Richmond, Virginia right about now? Well, we're getting used to being Hoopstown, USA. And we're, real, we're really excited about it. It's uh, an acclamation that we did not think was coming to us, but we're really excited about it. We like David and Goliath's stories, particularly when we're David. When we're David. Yeah, well, it's worked out well for both of your teams there. How's your bracket looking, by the way? Oh, uh, you know, I have to tell you, I'm not really that much of a sports enthusiast, but I tell you, I'm on the edge of my seat now, so I didn't have a bracket. Uh, <laughs> Obama got into so much trouble with his, I thought I'd leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> wise man, wise man, because I'm going to put you on the spot now, and this is going to be a political hot potato, but we have to know um, if by chance both teams win in the Sweet 16 and they play for a trip to the Final Four, who do you pick? Who do you root for? How do you handle that? Well, you know, uh, if if that happens, we're winners, whatever, whichever way it goes. You know, one, one of our teams will be on top. Uh, now I'm you're sounding to like a politician, so Mayor. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I am what I am. I'm going to San Antonio tomorrow, and uh, I'll be rooting for both teams. And if it happens that they play on Sunday, I'll be conveniently absent. All right. You might need to get a sweater made, uh, half VCU, half Richmond. you got to ride that political fence, and I get that. Uh, you had a pep rally yesterday for, for both of the teams. W what was that like, and what, what does that mean to your city? What, what was it like there? Well, you know, it really, it really puts us on the map in a different kind of way. People have preconceptions and stereotypical ideas about Richmond, but yesterday we had about 1,000 people out for a pep rally. It really shows the enthusiasm, the character, the hipness of, of, of a city that people kind of think of as a historical place. We also do a lot of sports things. We got 40,000 people coming out next week to do a 10K. We're bidding for the, cyc the international cyclist race in uh, 2014. So a lot of things like this go on. They just don't get national attention. We saw in that video there, there was a sign. I recognized my friend Dick Vitale's face. Uh, <laughs> and, and he's been, you know, he was very critical, as were a lot of critics um, when, the, yeah. when the bids came out. Everyone was saying, and Dick was leading the charge, that VCU had no business being in the tournament. What, what do you say to those critics now? Well, I don't know whether you saw the, the clips from yesterday, but we had a big plate of crow. And uh, <laughs> the crow was for Dick Vitale to eat. We wanted to serve it up to him because uh, he was wrong, we were right, and uh, we're happy about it. Well, there's the sign, eat crow, baby, and uh, I'm sure Dick <laughs> is doing a little bit of that right now. I'm curious to know, Mayor, how does the fan base uh, break down in the city? Who, who has the larger fan base between VCU and Richmond? Uh, VCU is a larger school, 33,000 students, uh, but Richmond does a great job. We, they, they turned out yesterday for the for the rally, and I had them doing, you know, cheers on both sides, and uh, UVAR held their own. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that uh, because there are more students at VCU, that they probably win the deal. So you say you are going to uh, to be watching the games in attendance, and if they do play for a trip to the Final Four, a lot of times you'll have uh, mayors from the same city make a bet. Um, but uh -huh. but we, we, we can't do that here because you're in a win-win situation, also a lose-lose situation if they both get there. I know it'll I be an interesting weekend for you. <laughs> it re it, it'll be really very interesting. Yesterday, the coaches from both teams gave me hats, and so I put the hats on. Uh, both of the hats on and turned them to the each, either side, and so I <laughs> was able to root for both teams. I can see why you've been so successful in politics, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very good at this. Mayor, have a blast uh, at, at the tournament, and uh, good luck tomorrow night, and also getting one of those teams onto Houston in the Final Four. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Go Rams. Go Spiders. <laughs> well